What's going on, YouTube? Avery back, another episode of Walkins Homesteading. Guys, it's super windy here today, so I'm gonna be talking a little bit louder than usual. Um, behind me, I've just got a basic four by probably seven or eight foot um, trailer, utility trailer. I use it to kind of just haul soil, mulch, um, my dirt bike. But as you guys know, we are preparing to get some pigs, so I've got to use it to haul them from the farmer back here. So I've already started just throwing up really some scrap two by fours um, and other just scrap wood I had laying around to kind of enclose it a little bit. I'm going to get some uh, livestock panels and kind of tack them on the other three sides of it and then just build a back door. So honestly, quick video, just stuff that you have laying around on your property already that you can use to just enclose a trailer rather than renting one or buying one. What's going on YouTube? Avery back another episode of Walking Homesteading. All right, so we've got our four by fours cut. We're gonna put one on this side, one on this side, screw them in really strong, add some additional braces for support. That's gonna act as the frame for our door. So after we build the door, we'll hinge in one side and then have a double latch on the other side. From there, we're gonna close in all the sides with livestock panels and do um, a livestock panel over the top just to ensure all four sides are covered. Um, that way, eliminate, eliminate any type. All right, so we've got our four. All right, so we've got the supports up on all sides. We've got the door frame put in. Got a two latch system, latch here, and a swivel lock here, the bottom, good to go. You know, and when we're turning it, move this out the way. Boom, boom, turn it, nice and secure. I'll add two carabiners, one there, one there, just an extra bit of security. Two basic standard hinges. You got the frame built. All right, so we've got the supports up on all sides. All right, we're all done. Stable two by four wire all the way around. Front. I didn't go. I didn't go to the upper section. All the way around this side. Reinforce the back door, some OSB. And all inside, two by four wire all the way across. So again, guys, as you saw, the trailer's done. Is it the fanciest, nice, nicest trailer out there? No but it's gonna do the trick, it's gonna do the job. I built this whole trailer, let's see, I bought the two hinges for the door, 497 a piece, and then the screws were 684 for 154 screws. I built this whole entire trailer for less than 20 bucks. I used existing two by four fencing that I had laying around. I know I mentioned I was originally gonna buy panels, but once I priced it out, it didn't make any sense. These two by fours will be strong. These two by four fencing will be strong enough for, you know, uh, departure and arrival to the butcher for um, what we plan to use it for. And again, I had it laying around. My idea of homesteading is being able to utilize things that I already have here on the homestead and recycle them or upcycle them, you know, reuse them again. Something left over from a project, I don't throw it away. I put it to the side because I might need it for something else, i.e. leftover fencing I was able to use for this trailer here. So again, I like to really refurbish and upcycle the stuff I have left over after projects because I never know when I'm gonna be able to use it again. And then go out and get some of the hardware pieces like I did today for the hinges and the screws. So again, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please don't, 
forget to write them down below. I'll put a description of all the quick hardware pieces I used in the bio or description of this video. And please take care of yourselves and hope everything is going well where you guys are. Take care from Walkinson Studying.